we are back with a historic move that a lot of people are talking about this week. That's right. For the first time in its 226-year history, the New York Stock Exchange has named a woman as president. And we caught up with Stacey Cunningham. Where else but on the floor of the exchange? So this is mission control. This is mission control. It's where it all happens. It's incredible to think about your journey. Because you were 19 years old when you first walked onto the floor? I was just a kid, just a kid walking onto the floor. Could you have, in your wildest dreams, imagined you'd be taking this walk as the president of the New York Stock Exchange? I, I guess back then I wasn't thinking about it. I was too raptured by everything that was happening around me down here. 43-year-old Stacey Cunningham is the first female president in the 226-year history of the New York Stock Exchange. You must get kind of addicted to the energy Love of it. this place. Love it. How could you not? You bring somebody in like you who hasn't been here before. Wow, look at it. And it, you know, you don't that doesn't go away. I still feel that way when I come in. It's just got a special, a special place in my heart. I do look forward to a day when a woman taking a job isn't newsworthy, <laughs> but we aren't quite there yet. What kind of reaction have you been getting? The su most surprising reactions I'm getting are from so many of the men out there that are reaching out to me to say, I could tell my daughter that in the same day, it's realistic that she could be the head of the CIA or the head of the New York Stock Exchange as a woman. It's got to feel good. Yes. <laughs> a lot of people, I think, notice because Wall Street is kind of notorious for being that old boys club. Yeah, it is. Wall Street and technology. They're both industries that are very male dominated. It couldn't have been easy for a young woman on the trading floor. It was great. It, I loved it. But, okay, but wasn't it a little bit of like a locker room well, I'll tell you, scene? I, you know, there are moments of that, but I will say I drew my boundaries. You know, I made it clear as to what was okay and what wasn't okay. One of the things that's fascinating about your background is you didn't stay on this path. Yeah, I, I, I left, I went to culinary school, I took some time off. What's interesting is the environment in the kitchen is very much like the environment on the trading floor. It gets pretty hot but in it's, there. <laughs> it's pretty hot in there and the, the pace is the same. What's your message to young women who are gonna look at you and see some possibility for themselves that they might not have seen before. Yeah, embrace it. Embrace ambition. I have been inclined to think, no, I don't want to take that job or I'm not going to put myself forward for it. And I've been very, very fortunate to have mentors that have pushed me. Do we sell ourselves short? Yeah, I think, I think we do. I think we're less inclined to go out and ask, ask for something. You come in at a time of challenge in the sense that so much is digital now. Are you confident that you will not be presiding over the closing of the stock exchange. Yes, I am very confident. We process 50 billion messages a day. Just to put that in scale, I, I recently read that there were three and a half billion Google searches in a day. So I, we're ready for the future. And just as Cunningham is settling into her new role, Wall Street's fearless girl statue, a symbol of female empowerment, is getting a new home. She will no longer face the bull, but reside in front of the New York Stock Exchange. For a lot of people, you are the fearless girl. I think there are so many fearless girls in all of us out there and you just tapping into that is really important. Just finding that spirit where you're willing to go on and take on the world. I think we all have to be doing that. She's incredibly down to earth, but I mean, you have to think about her walking onto the New York Stock Exchange floor in 1994, 19, 19. years old. I mean, yep. the traders are notorious. It is a guy's club mm -hmm. uh, and she, she can hang with them. And, and I could see just walking around with her how popular she is mm -hmm. and how beloved she is by the traders on the floor. So. I, lo I love the message, embrace ambition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't walk away from it. Yeah, yeah. very cool. cool. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.